there's got to be, and, and speaking about, you know, the assumptions about prison life and what you've spoken to, people staying with what they know, who they are similar to um, with regards to race and age uh, in, in segments. And I, I've got to imagine that, that coming up to someone and saying, hey, I want what you've got going on, has a lot of vulnerability that comes with it. And it can't be easy as just a casual conversation. So, I don't know, maybe speak to that dynamic a little bit as, as you've seen this organization grow. How has that piece of it fit in? And, and what are the challenges you've, you've walked through in that? I think that ultimately, people want to be somebody that other people recognize, right? Nobody wants to be the guy that nobody knows, that nobody cares about. There's a natural desire to the human heart that says, I want a community, I want friends. I think that there's also a natural part of the heart that wants good things. There's somewhere deep inside in every single person that says, I've been hurt, but I don't want to hurt others, even though it happens. When you can find that in somebody, all that you have to do is help them to see that. And it works every time. When you're absolutely convinced that what you're doing is right and that you believe in it, and then nobody's gonna sway you from that, you run into a lot of other ideas that are sort of seeded by somebody else. And when an idea is seeded by somebody else, the person that's there doesn't really believe in it. It's just what it is. When you can help them to see that, a lot of guys, even in prison, and I know people are think, no, nah, everybody in prison's a bad guy. Absolutely not. As a side note, what changed in my life was I ran into these guys. And they were some of the best human beings I've ever known in my entire life. They're men of great integrity, men of great heart, men of great character, men of great success. And it's not this idea of this weak Christian that, oh, you know, I don't want to say too much and hurt a flower. It's a strong leader. When I saw that, I thought, man, those guys are awesome. What can they teach me? And it took them being an example. And that's one of the most important parts about what we do is live as that example. We try to go to other men. Some just naturally desire it and seek it. There's men here in this competition today that came up to us and said, I don't know a lot about you guys, but I heard what you're doing and I am all in. Because there's a lot of people that want to be the good guy. There's a lot of people that want to be the hero of the story. We try to give them that platform and say, awesome, there's other guys that want that too. And so let's all just work together. Instead of this guy's trying to be the good guy, and this guy's trying to be the good guy, and they're at ends because they're competing for resource. We're all working together. Some of the challenges that we experience are natural prison things, right? Not every single prison barrier has been broken. There's certain, uh, certain thoughts out there that, uh, are on very different pages than we are. I like to say that those TV shows that a lot of people watch about prison, that exists, that's real. 
some of it's hyped up, some of it's not, but there's another side to it. There's a whole nother picture that a lot of people don't usually see. There's a whole nother picture out there that maybe people don't want to see. Some of the challenges that we encounter is the normal things that one would encounter when changing the world, right? We have to change a philosophy. If we just change a couple things, a couple aesthetics, nothing really changes. Then the program just grows and then when the leaders leave, it dies.